I guess the deal that's not quite a deal, but it's kind of a deal. What's the deal? Right. <laughs> <laughs> The deal is that NVIDIA just paid $20 billion for a company founded by one of the architects of Google's TPU, the chip that has become NVIDIA's most formidable rival. Grok's founder, Jonathan Ross, helped build Alphabet's in-house AI chip before starting his own company. And now he's joining NVIDIA, along with the kind of expertise that helped Google land major cloud deals with Anthropic and Meta. So NVIDIA, it is essentially hiring away talent that knows how to compete against them. NVIDIA's cash pile has ballooned to $60 billion, up from $13 billion two years ago, and it has been deploying it across the AI stack. $900 million for Infabrica's CEO in tech, $5 billion in to Intel, $100 billion proposed for OpenAI, plus backing Crusoe, Cohere, and CoreWeave. Meta, Google, and Microsoft have all used similar structures. Call it a licensing agreement, hire the executives, avoid all the regulatory scrutiny that comes with a full acquisition. Grok's chips also solve a technical problem for NVIDIA. They keep data on the processor itself rather than relying on high bandwidth memory, a supply chain that's been one of NVIDIA's biggest bottlenecks.